I think that the definition of education needs to be expanded uh, beyond its traditional confines of uh, something that will lead to good sort of job market outcomes, good economic outcomes, and it needs to embrace uh, empowering the whole individual in all their aspects, not just in terms of their uh, material, physical and economic well-being. I think we as educators in India and probably elsewhere too can definitely see a need in the society for the introduction of character education. I think the, the malaise that exists in society today, the conflict which is happening all around us, the, the, the political and religious violence that's constantly happening in India which has led to school closures in Lucknow as recently as just a few weeks ago. I think character education is, is an important cornerstone of fixing that. And it's part of our vision that we want to be able to bring that to our students in the long run so that they will grow up to be virtuous individuals with strong moral character who interact with each other in a spirit of friendliness and love and fellowship. And I think the Virtues Project is going to be a very important catalyst for enabling that to happen. So I think the introduction of the Virtues Project is something of a turning point for our organization, for our students. And I think if we can really develop it uh, at scale across our whole organization, there's the potential for really meaningful impact. So we've had training for teachers, we've had training for middle level administrators, we've had training for school counselors, we've had training for school principals, and we've even had separate training for administrative staff. But each of these training sessions have been separate and tailored to the specific requirements of those groups. And on those campuses where we have done ongoing workshops and teacher support, we've seen incredible transformation in the way that teachers are relating to one another, in the way that they're relating to students, and the language that even students are using to, to chat with one another. After the workshop, when we uh, did few activities with our children, they responded in a very positive way. The way we were reframing the sentences, it was actually making the child more confident because we are not finding flaws. We are actually telling the child, yes, child, I can see that you are determined. I can see that you are honest. I can see you can be more orderly. Just you have to understand that yes, you can do it. And once the children know, once the kids know, once the people around know that how to speak and how to present your things with a very positive note, so the, all the things will be sorted out in the world. I see a whole lot of uh, change in culture, change in happiness, change in stuff. The kind of a relation that people have with people. So it's, it has been beautiful and thank you for that. This has helped everyone, I suppose, because when I talk to my teachers also, I, I can understand, I can feel that yes, something has changed in their perception, the way they have started taking the things in a very positive way. So I think that the relevance of the Virtues Project for this enterprise, for this more expanded definition of education is, is obvious. Um, in order to deliver the hopes of such an education, which develops the whole person and brings out the goodness that is latent and inherent. I think that a virtues orientation, the use of language of virtues is a really fantastic framework within which to bring out uh, those uh, latent gems uh, that exist in all of us. So why not uh, follow it? So we are grateful and we are really, really, really want our teachers to uh, imbibe this spirit of uh, virtues in life, virtues practicing in life all the time. The Virtues Project has been so special for me because I found it is the purest way to make others happy. It's not about material means, it's not about buying anything, it's not about doing anything for them. It's about helping them see the best within themselves. So I think speaking the language of virtues for anyone, to anyone, is an act of service itself. Using any of the five strategies is an act of service where you're recognizing the noblest of another human being and helping them bring that out. We feel, having seen the, uh, the Virtues Project through the workshops that Dara Feldman has done here, we feel that, um, that this is as good a framework as we have seen. And we really love it. We can see that it's powerful. You know, we've seen it working. Even in the short time that our teachers have been trying to practice it, we've seen it. So we think that this has a lot of potential going forward. And I'm hoping that it'll lead to a lot of 
behavior change in ourselves as administrators, senior leaders, and teachers and children. We hope it permeates. If I had a magic wand with regard to the Virtues Project, I would want that each one of the 1100 classrooms across the organization has a teacher in it who is following the language of virtues and all of the strategies of the Virtues Project, that the walls of the classrooms and the corridors are adorned with virtues posters, that parents are speaking virtuously to each other, to, to their children and to their teachers, and that students amongst themselves and in all their interactions are adopting the language of virtues. Uh, and building their moral character that way.